Hi, Brian West here with another installment of Virtual Frasier, history all around you. Earlier this evening, I decided to take a drive down the Eastern Parkway. My intention was to head west along Watterson Expressway. I wanted to go to the city of Shively to visit one of the historic landmarks that are all over Kentucky. This one is not really at an uh, official building or at a famous place. It's nestled in a very small neighborhood in Shively on the street called Clyde Drive. However, in the 1950s, it was known as Roan Court. This house, 4110 Roan Court, has a lot of history. It was in this house that the Wades, an African-American family in Louisville, tried to integrate the then all-white neighborhood of Shively. Andrew and Charlotte Wade were a couple, and they had a hard time finding accommodations or housing for their little children in the black neighborhoods in Louisville. So for the sake of their children, they decided to look for housing in the all-white neighborhood of Shively. But because of gentlemen's agreements amongst white business owners and private homeowners in the area, the ways were forbidden from finding any housing. This is during a time of racial segregation. Although the Wades were legally able to find housing in white neighborhoods, there was a Supreme Court decision in 1917 which struck down laws uh, which forbid integration of white neighborhoods by blacks. Still, because of these private agreements, many African Americans were denied the opportunities to open their own businesses in all white neighborhoods or to even buy housing. The Wades encountered such struggles when they tried to buy their house in Shively. At first, the Wades were able to purchase a house. However, when the white owner of the house found out that the Wades were black, rather than allow them to keep the house, the white owner instructed the realtor to give back the money to the Wades. Without much luck in finding any more housing in Shively, the Wades were told by a real estate agent that it would be a good idea for them to have a white family buy a house for them, then transfer the deed. Out of this comes the Bradens, Anne and Carl Brayden. They were acquaintances of the Wades through political circles. And after the Wades had been refused help from other white acquaintances, the Bradens accepted the responsibility of helping the Wades. On May 10th, 1954, the Wades moved into their house at 4110 Roan uh, Court. Shortly thereafter, in a few days, a cross was set afire on a neighboring lawn. And then their house was shot at, and also windows broken by people throwing rocks. The Wades feared for their lives. And as such, they, with the help of some of the whites, including the Bradens, set up a defense com committee, giving them 24-hour protection of their home. However, this was not the only trouble that the Wades had to endure. The insurer, the insurance company that insured the Wades' home, decided to cancel their policy. The Wades were hard pressed to find an insurer. However, they were able to do so. But even after that, the loan company that was responsible for the Wades mortgage asked, well, didn't ask, demanded that the Wades pay back the money for the mortgage. The Wades were very hard pressed to keep their house. And on June 27th, the bombing occurred. This despite the fact that the local authorities knew of the men who had terrorized the Wades um, 
and had thrown rocks and shot at their house. But those men were never brought to trial or even charged with a crime. To add insult to injury, the Bradens were accused of being communist sympathizers and charged with sedition. This because the local authorities thought that the Bradens had intentionally planted a bomb in the Wade's house instead of detonated it to start a race war against the Commonwealth of Kentucky. The Bradens were brought to trial and were tried and were convicted of sedition. Carl Braden had to actually serve seven months in prison before his 15 year sentence was eventually commuted. As for the Wades, due to the constant fear and the danger that they were facing out in Rune Court, they eventually sold the house at a loss and moved to an all-black neighborhood in West Louisville. Andrew Wade passed away in 2005. Ann Braden passed away in 2006. The marker along Rune Court, which is now known as Clyde Drive, is situated at the corner of Clyde Drive. And the house, 4110 Room Court, still stands today with its house number intact. And as for the neighborhood, it is now integrated with both blacks and whites living together.